All right, in this high level tutorial, I want to show you how you can use email templates or campaign templates inside of your automations so that when, for example, you come here to send an automatic email inside of a workflow, let's say when somebody gets tagged or when they fill out a form, down here where it says templates, I'm gonna show you how you can set up templates, use them to make your emails just a little fancier than what you can build inside of this very typical WYSIWYG editor. To get started, we're going to go into the marketing section on the left-hand side here, and we're going to go to or hover over emails and then go to templates. Now, what is a template? A template can be two things. A template is a starting point. So you could make like a basic shell of an email that you use for your weekly newsletter where you can just, you know, swap out images and text and not have to re-customize it every single time. And an email template could also just be a completely fully written email that can be dropped inside of an automation, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So let's go ahead and create a new email template, or if you have one that you already like, you can go ahead and uh, copy that as well. Um, we're gonna just build an email that we can use as an example. So I'm going to click new, and I'm going to say blank template, and I'm gonna make mine from the design editor because I want something just a little fancier, not by much, but just a little fancier than what I would build inside a WYSIWYG editor. I will caution you just not to make your emails too crazy with too many images or too much code. It just decreases deliverability and they always say a plain text, very basic email is best, uh, but you know, sometimes you wanna go, you know, kick things up just a little bit. So let's go ahead and, and name this email. We'll call this our auto response for SEO leads, right? Because this is continuing somewhat off of the series of videos that I've been doing on how to segment and automate your lead onboarding. It's not necessary that you watch those videos before this one, but that's why I'm using this name because it's kind of a continuation in that series. All right, so let's go ahead and customize this real quick. This is not a lesson on how to customize and use the email builder, but we are going to build an email in here uh, that we can use to select and to send. All right, I've put some placeholder stuff in here to kind of give us something to work with. So let's say that this was my email, I was totally happy with it, and I want this to be the email that somebody gets automatically from an automation when they fill out my form and they choose a particular option uh, on the form for the service that they're interested in. In this example, they're interested in my SEO service. Now, before we save our template, or you can save your template, it doesn't matter, uh, but before we're done here, I want you to click the three dots and I want you to go to settings and it's gonna open up the template settings where you can customize a couple of things. In my opinion, the most important one is the email subject followed by the from name. So let's go ahead and put in a subject and a from name that apply specifically to this email. Okay, so I have put in my from name and my email subject and I'm also going to populate my from email. Now I'm going to click save, and that's going to lock in those predefined email subject line from name and from email address tied to this email. I'm gonna hit save template again, just to be sure. And now what I can do is go back into my automation. So we'll come back to automations. We'll find the automation that we want to send this email from. We'll scroll down and we'll find our auto response here. So in this automation, a form was submitted, an opportunity created, we were notified about it. And then based on what they filled out on the form, we tagged them and now we're gonna send them an auto response. Now in another video, I put some pre-filled stuff in here for that demo. However, I'm gonna show you what happens when now I come to this template section and I select the template that we just made together, my auto response for SEO leads. I'm going to select this template and notice what happens. The from name changed, the email changed, at least I think it did, and the subject line definitely changed. Now what's gonna happen is you can see here that this email and this little thumbnail, this is what they're going to get when this email is sent by this automation. However, here's what's really cool about this. So let's, let's say we were totally happy with that. All right, but now we wanted to send one when they come in through website dev. So to save time, I'm going to click on my tag here and I'm going to say actions, copy, all actions from here and I'm gonna drop it into this column. Of course, I'll change the tag. I'll get rid of SEO and instead I'll do website dev or something like that, add new tag. But I also need to come in here to my template and make changes because we're not sending this pre-configured, pre-built email. We need to swap it out for one all about website development. Now, if I had already made one in my templates for website development, I could absolutely select it here and be on my merry way but let's say I hadn't made one. Let's say I forgot, which full transparency happens to me literally every single day of my life. I forget to make these templates. So I come in here and I click the edit button. Now, be very careful. I'm gonna show you something that's gonna you know, save you a lot of heartache. 
So customize this one, we'll call this Doug's website development service, right? It'll make it very apparent what it is, website development service. Now look up here at the top. If you hit save, you will override or overwrite. Maybe both of those are accurate. You will override the email that you had previously made. You will override the template you are currently editing. We don't want to do that because that will replace the other email. Instead, we want to save it as a new template and give it a name. So it's not our auto response for SEO. This one is now our auto response for website development. We'll click continue and now we have two templates. We have our SEO template and our website development template. I'm gonna go ahead and click close on this so that you can see, well, I can see, I don't know if you can see this on a video, but we have our website development email. And if I click over here, the thumbnail changed to SEO. I'm gonna click save, I'm gonna save this email and I'm gonna go back to our marketing section, email templates and show you, here we go. We have two separate templates. And if I click into my SEO template, it still says SEO. And if I click into my website development template, it says website development. If I had hit save instead of save as new template, I would still have one template and I would have overwritten everything that I had done. We've been there, done that. Now it's just a matter of repeating that process for however many other things I wanna do, however many other automations I need to make, and I'll be done. All right, I hope that's helpful. I actually love using these website templates rather than having to go in and in the tiny little WYSIWYG editor in the automation section, you know, they've actually improved it quite a bit. Um, I don't wanna make it sound terrible, um, but rather than having to write the automation there, build yourself a nice, stay simple, but build yourself a nice email in the campaign editor, save it as a template and use it here instead. It's what I do for all of my onboarding for my all access community and my courses. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions about what you saw here, or if you wanna request another high level tutorial, feel free to leave a comment down below.